Well, we billboarded this show, Al, as the night of the heavyweights, and here's yet another one, yet another Olympian, yet another guy that you have to contend with somewhere down the road. Silver medalist in the super heavyweight division here in this past Olympics, Riddick Bowe, who um, thinks that he will be moving at just a rapid, as rapid rate as uh, Ray Mercer through the heavyweight division. Moving rapidly now. He fought just two days ago, three days ago. He fought on Friday night. Hard to believe. Here he is down here in Jacksonville to do it again. Let's go to Michael Buffer and meet these two. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we move once again to the heavyweight division. This bout is scheduled for six rounds, and the referee is Brian Gary. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the white trunks with black trim and weighed in at an even 204 pounds. He's originally from Youngstown, Ohio, now living and fighting out of Orlando, Florida. As a professional, he's 8-8-1 eight, eight and one with three KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, Errol Lewis. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing in at 226 and one half pounds from Brooklyn, New York, undefeated as a professional with a record of seven and oh, six KOs. He's a 1988 Olympic silver medalist in the super heavyweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, Riddick Sugar Bear Bo. Okay, gentlemen, I'll be the third man in the ring with you. When I give you the command to break, I want you to break cleanly. No pushing, no punching on the brakes, you understand? Avoid the use of your head. No rabbit punches, kidney punches, or punches below the belt. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Shake hands, come out boxing at the belt. Well, there's a look at Riddick Bowe, and he comes off, as we mentioned, a knockout over Tony Hayes in one round up in New York three days ago. Fought that uh, Erzurl Lewis, a former Ohio champion, but boy, he has been very, very inactive as a professional. Yeah, we talked to Earl Lewis this morning. He would not describe him as a fountain of information. No. Or as a real confident boxer at this point. Nice no. young man, but Riddick fought on my birthday, and your wife, Joan Ryan, is uh, having a birthday, isn't she? She is indeed. I don't usually like to use the airwaves to do that, but I'm not going to be home, so I'm going to use the airwaves. I think you should. It's okay. Happy Wish birthday, her happy Joan. Birthday. Or Lewis, what he knew about Riddick Bowe, and he said, All I know is he's a silver medalist. Or it might have been in the 400 meters as far as <laughs> <laughs> it's the knockout ratio, which tells him that it wasn't in the 400 meters, right? That's right. <laughs> Riddick, obviously, a powerful young man. He was effective in the Olympics, winning a silver medal, which is no small feat. <laughs> And in the rush to gold, oh, there's a left hook that hurts Lewis, and he's ready to go. On his way. And down goes Earl Lewis. Well, truthfully, we really didn't expect much more here. A late replacement was Earl Lewis, and he's rocked early, so. On his feet, but who knows for how long. Goodbye. Earl Lewis down and out. There won't be a count. And once again, this is the second time in two, week, two weeks that we've worked together, at least, that we've seen a fighter go through the ropes. Yeah, which is not a good situation. And thank goodness that uh, no further damage was done. Earl Lewis still very, very shaky, and they need to really attend to him. And, and you, uh, can you can see, we'll get a shot of this at some point, how loose the support ropes are on the ropes where Lewis went through. And they're not supposed to be like that. Those ropes are on there. That is the rope that runs vertically is on there just to prevent exactly what happened. He was hit with a, a, a there, there's there's a support rope you're talking about. And yes it is a little loose. Not uh, not as tight as it might be. In any case uh, Riddick Bow there you see Eddie Futch the venerable trainer who has worked with so many champions now working with Riddick Bow. To see the first knockdown in which Bo nailed him. He had hurt him with the left hook, and then here he's wailing away on the ropes, and the straight right hand to the head of Earl Lewis sends him down. And after this, we'll see him go through the ropes. He gets hit with a, a very good right hand, I believe. There's the hook, and now a straight right hand. He was out when he got hit with that left hook. So um, 
obviously that last punch from Earl Lewis's standpoint was unnecessary but there was no way the referee could have ever gotten in there that quickly it just so happens that Earl Lewis was was pretty much out on his feet. Here's Riddick Bow. The left hook had put him out and then the right hand finished the job and uh, luckily no no worse damage done to Earl Lewis as he went through the ropes. And Riddick Bow doing what he had to do. He got it done in a hurry. Riddick Bow two knockouts in a week so he moves smartly along. Six seconds of the very first round. The winner by knockout victory, knockout number seven, victory number eight, the undefeated silver medalist, Riddick Sugar Bear Bowles.